Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This one's gonna be a little different than what I normally do. Uh, normally I post like Lone Star Drift videos, but I figured to kill some time between now and the next drift event, I wanted to show you guys um, how I plastic weld most of my stuff. So this car I bought with a broken bumper. Basically the tabs on the side of the fifth gen Camaros are so, so small that the slightest thing will rip them off. So since it's a really common problem and I really didn't want to spend like $300 on a new bumper, I decided to try plastic weld. So not this, because this stuff sucks. We're not gonna use that. I went to Harbor Freight and got this kit for about, I don't know, $15, $16. And I read the reviews on it and a lot of people said that theirs broke like the first time they used it, but I didn't have any problem with it. And this will be the second time I'm using it. Um, the first was to fix the bumper. And today I'm gonna fix this ZL1 grill. I picked this up for free from a friend down in San Antonio uh, when I was originally gonna do a ZL1 front end conversion. Um, he gave this to me for free because when he took it off, I guess they pulled from the center and they snapped off the center of the grill from the top and I believe at the bottom as well, yeah. So both ends are broken off. I attempted to use that crappy JB Weld stuff from, you know, like Walmart or whatever, and it sucks. So uh, I'm gonna attempt to actually plastic weld this back together. Um, if you guys wanna see how to weld the tabs back on the Camaro, let me know in the comments because it's a super, super common problem and it was really, really easy to fix. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to plastic weld this back together. So when you open the kit, it's gonna come with obviously the welder and then this little plate to hold it and this little instruction guide, which nobody reads those, um, this little wire brush and some mesh metal and these sticks of plastic that you're actually going to use to weld your stuff back together. So I used this to fix the bumper on my car. Since I'm not using any sort of like screws or bolts or anything, um, I don't really need to use the metal because it doesn't need to be that strong. This is just plastic. So essentially we're just going to weld this back together. So I am going to start with this piece. Um, it's already used, you can tell, but I just used it for my bumper project when I was doing that. So since this is kind of a smaller size, it's easier to use. Using the really long ones is kind of annoying. So um, I tend to like cut them in half or whatever to use them. Um, basically, all you're gonna do is figure out the best way to weld it on because you don't, obviously this is a grill, so you're not gonna wanna see it from the front. So I'm gonna start working from the back. And since it is a grill, I really don't think it's necessary to make it super pretty since it's gonna be on the back side of it. It's just really, really easy to use. So I'm gonna show you how to do it.
still drying. So I said it's not gonna be pretty, but it works. Not pretty, but it works. This one actually turned out the best, I think. That's from the back. So from the front, you can't really see anything. And I also wanted to show you guys that these little posts down here are part of the grill and I actually broke this side off and lost the piece. So in order to match this side, all I did was take uh, part of the plastic sticks that they give you and I just cut it, turned it sideways and then just welded it back on. So you can't even tell.